chicos y chicas. Hoy hace mucho calor. Today it's very hot. And we are in the middle of summer and these are the days that are perfect for what I'm going to show you today. A new recipe called Tinto de Verano. This is a super simple recipe and it's perfect for these hot days. It's cool, it's refreshing. Uh, if you love red wine, this is your dream. Especially if you like red wine, but you like a little bit of sweetness. Now, this drink is something that you wouldn't want to make with your best red wine. Uh, it, you do choose red wine, you know, and that's why it's called Tinto, which is red wine, de verano, which is summer. So, what we do is we mix an inexpensive red wine with what is called gaseosa. Gaseosa is a light type of soft drink. It has a little bit of touch of citrus, like lime or lemon, but it's very light. It doesn't taste quite like 7-Up or Sprite, although it is somewhat similar. It's not as syrupy sweet. It's a little bit lighter, and it is normally probably not chosen to be drunk alone. It's usually mixed with other things like red wine for Tinto de Verano. It can also be mixed with beer to make what is called a clara. A clara is, means light in color, and because you're lightening up the color of beer with a bit of gaseosa, it's called a clara. Now, Tinto de Verano is great for summer because you, know, you can mix this up with ice, and it's just you know, nice and cool and refreshing. And the great thing about mixing it yourself is that you can adapt the recipe and you can make it as strong or as light as you want. So you can have it mostly red wine and then just lighten it up with a little bit of gaseosa. Or you can have mostly gaseosa and just add a touch of color and flavor with just a touch of red wine. Uh, you know, it can also depend on the quality of the red wine. The first time I tried Pinto de Verano was probably one of the fiestas. Our summer fiestas here in my town are celebrated at the beginning of July. And we celebrate normally with my mother-in-law's neighborhood. They have this nice neighborhood that has a big street in the middle. They close off the street and then they set up tables and then they have all sorts of potluck dinners or lunches depending on what day and what occasion they're celebrating. Each year, we pay to be part of the fiesta. And what that means is that part of our money goes to drinks that are shared amongst all the different people who are part of the fiesta. And that usually includes soft drinks. I don't normally drink soft drinks. Uh, it includes beer. They usually have a, a beer tap there. And it also includes wine. The problem is that they're not usually the best quality wines. They bring inexpensive wines, and by now my taste just, it's not quite for me. So if you want to be part of the fiesta and drink wine, uh, most people actually drink it as Tito de Verano. They will mix it with gaseosa. It lightens it up, it sweetens it up, and so it makes it more appealing uh, if the wine wasn't quite your favorite to begin with. And I find that especially the older women prefer Pinto de Verano. They like sweeter wines and they're not quite so happy with the Tinto by itself, Tinto meaning red wine. And so they will lighten it up with the gaseosa. The great thing about Tinto de Verano is, you know, you can drink it with ice, so that makes it nice and cool and refreshing. Uh, you can add some fruit. But this isn't sangria. Uh, sangria is different, it's more elaborated, it's usually sweeter. Sangria is made ahead of time. Uh, you let the flavors meld together, you add fruits, and you let that all come together and add their flavor and infuse it into the wine. Whereas Tinto de Verano is just something that you make at the last minute. You want to notice the bubbliness of the gaseosa. So you make this at the last minute, you can pour it and make it right at your table, actually. And if you do want a little bit of fruit flavor, you can add, you know, just a twist of lime or lemon or even orange 
but it's really just an added touch. You know, it's not something that you need in this recipe. And this can be made at restaurants. Also, you can order a house wine, uh, you know, one of the more inexpensive house wines. And then you can order gaseosa on the side. And then you just even mix it at your table. Oftentimes, you will find that restaurants will have a pre-made pinto de verano. You can also find pre-made pinto de verano at the supermarket. Basically, it's like a soft drink already made that has, I don't even know if it's made with real red wine or if it's just red wine flavor. It's not something I normally buy myself. In fact, I don't think I ever have bought it. I have tried the pre-made tinto de verano at restaurants and I find it a bit sweet. I prefer to mix it myself. I think it has added sugar, just like sangria, and to me that makes it just too sweet, especially for summer when I just want something light and refreshing. Now, if you are in a country where gaseosa is not available, there are a few ways around it, and you can mix it up yourself. Um, you know, you can use either just a seltzer or soda water, and then you can add a bit of sweetness to it. Now that can be done with either a simple syrup that you make ahead of time by mixing together and heating up sugar and water and letting it cool after the sugar has dissolved. Or you can also add, if you want something that is you know, lower carb, lower calorie, you can add something like stevia and just a twist of lime or lemon, which gives it that little bit of citrus that the gaseous and margarine has. Here in Spain, you can often find soda water like this. This is called siphon here in this area, which is because it's made it to look like a siphon. And this is just another type of carbonated water without any added sweeteners or anything. Uh, gaseosa normally is without sugar. It usually uses uh, different types of sweeteners. I'm trying to see with this transparent bottle if I can read the ingredients on this one. But this one appears to have carbonated water, citric acid, uh, sweeteners, and aroma, whatever that means. So I'm going to guess that that's the little bit of lemon lime subtle flavor. I'm going to try this right now with this wine. Uh, we found this wine downstairs in our basement. We usually keep our better wines upstairs and we have a refrigerated wine cellar. Uh, we're not quite sure about this one. This will be interesting to try. Um, it's been sitting around in our basement for a while so it, it'll be perfect. This will be a bit of a surprise for me and we're going to give this a shot. First, of course, you're going to open up the wine bottle. I have to admit that um, I don't have a lot of practice opening wine bottles because we normally get our wine when we go out on the weekends and, of course, they open it for me. And otherwise, it's my husband, the one who normally opens the bottle of wine at home. So we're going to give this a try and see if I even remember how to do this. Hopefully I won't embarrass myself too much, although it appears I took this way too far, so I think I'm already embarrassing myself. Okay, let's give this a try. See if I remember how to do this. Not too bad. <laughs> Ooh, doesn't smell too bad, actually. This is a local wine from Valencia, and it appears that they don't make wine anymore. But it's actually from 2006, so it should be interesting. Now you can make Tinto Verano in whatever glass you happen to have on hand. It's often made in this sort of glass or a highball glass. You can also make it in more of a gin tonic type. Opa glass. 
Uh, now, if you pre-chill these, you don't necessarily have to use ice, although I really like it with lots of ice, especially in the summer. But if you're afraid it's going to water it down, which to me isn't a problem with the Deliberano, uh, you know, pre-chill these and, and then make it without ice. But I like to use lots of ice to make the Deliberano. In fact, I'm going to just pour this in here. And then normally people use about 50% wine. Oof, the color on this is a little bit different. <laughs> of course, this is an older wine. In fact, it actually almost smells like vermouth by now. Okay, this bottle of Gaseosa is a bit old. It's from uh, one of my son's birthday parties. So it didn't have a huge amount of gas, but give this a try anyways. I am going to squeeze a bit of lemon to pull the seeds out first. You can also add just a little bit of orange if you like. You know, you can garnish it by adding the lemon right there. I'm going to put this up with a stirring stick and let's give it a try. Not bad. Now this one could have been improved with a better gaseosa. It's, I don't normally buy gaseosa to be honest. It's not something that I enjoy. Uh, I don't like having artificial sweeteners, and gaseosa, as far as I know, is always made with artificial sweeteners. So it's not something I normally buy. This was something we had left over. I think somebody brought this one over. The most common brand here in Spain is La Caseta, uh, but there are obviously all sorts of different generic brands. Uh, also, you could choose a little bit better wine. Um, I, Again, would not choose an expensive wine or one that you love but you know if you choose a fruity wine that will add just that little bit of fruit and sweetness to it too overall though this is good it's nice it's refreshing uh, I like it better than sangria uh, sangria is more of a tourist drink here in my area the locals go for more tinto de verano so I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Give it a try. If you liked this tip and recipe, I would love it if you would give it a like and if you would subscribe for more recipes. And hasta luego.